In this segment, For Your Life, the passing of a loved one is not an easy subject, but it's, an, it's a subject that we have to think about nonetheless. So we've made our way over here to East Funeral Home in Texarkana, and I'm here with Brad Thomas. Brad, thank you so much for inviting us out. Thank you for being here. We have lots of big things to talk about. Like I said before, this subject is not an easy one, but it's a subject that we must think about, and we don't want to wait until we are overwhelmed with emotion to try and plan something like this. So tell me about the importance of pre-planning um, for a funeral for yourself and a loved one. Well, in pre-planning, as you know, um, it, it goes back to a lot of things that we do in advance. We uh, plan our vacations and our trips, and when we plan something, it generally it goes better. And so planning for our final events uh, goes much better for the family. Uh, Pre-arranging, you are putting all your wishes in writing, so your family, they have no questions as to um, what you wanted. Um, all, all your children or spouse, they, everyone knows this is what mom or dad wanted, brother or sister, ever who it may be. Uh, secondly, economically, it freezes the cost of what you choose. Um, therefore, many years may go by and you have saved your family thousands of dollars possibly, depending on the services that you select. Um, it's one of those things that when a family has a death and their, their loved one has a prearrangement, um, the family more or less takes a deep breath and they're like, I'm so glad that mom or dad did this. Um, we don't have to make these decisions. Yes. And, um, and they know they're following their loved one's wishes. Um, and then economically, which it can be very stressful, mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it makes it much easier for us as the funeral directors to look at them and say, we're going to provide all your mom's services and you don't have anything to do economically or Absolutely. you know there's no dollars due your yes. mom took care of this ahead of time it, in a roundabout way a lot of people will do a pre-arrangement because they feel like it's a gift that they're giving their spouse or their children mm -hmm. um, a, a gift of um, it reduces their stress reduces uh, many things it, it's it's an all-around positive uh, purchase yes um, it's one of those things that's hard to do it's hard to do it for yourself because uh, to think that you're making your own arrangements. But one of the things that makes it easy to do for yourself is when you think, I'm doing this for my family, I'm doing it for my children. Absolutely. And um, so it's one of those things that, as a funeral director, I'm a, I'm a true proponent of. I help a lot of families with their prearrangements. Yes. And um, unfortunately, there are times that I also help that same family sometime years later, uh, but I'm glad I educated them on it and that they uh, made those decisions. It, yes. it really helped them. Absolutely, and you want that day to be perfect. Every single detail of celebrating someone's life and, and, and making sure that it's everything, that it truly symbolizes the incredible life that they lived. That's um, exactly and, right. And their passing. That's exactly right. It's, you know, it's a peace of mind for the funeral home and funeral directors as well, knowing that we are able to provide exactly what the family wanted, what that person wanted. Um, and at the end of the day, the family can say, you know, I'm so glad mom or dad did this um, for us. And, and we were able to carry out their wishes because they did. Yes. Um, there was no questions, you know, or, or what did they want. They know exactly. And Absolutely. so it makes us feel good on the funeral home side that we were able to do that. And uh, it, it, it's just uh, one of those things that it makes you feel good when you, when you handle things the way a family wants and yes. the way a, a person wanted their funeral. Um, it gives you a peace of mind that mm -hmm. at the end of the day when you go home that um, I've done exactly what that family wanted and what their loved one wanted. Mm -hmm. um, when you carry out somebody's wishes, it makes a big difference. Absolutely. You know. And we also want to talk about going to the details of the services that you guys offer here. I know that there's different ways that a, that a funeral can be carried out. Tell me about those. Um, there's a lot of different ways. Um, there are families who have traditional funeral services to where we have a visitation and an open casket viewing, followed the, usually the next day by a funeral service here in our chapel or a church or graveside. Other families have gatherings um, that where they don't necessarily have their loved one present, but all of their friends and family gather and they visit and they talk. Um, in those kind of cases, there may not be a pastor there, there may be, mm -hmm. but also family and friends get up and talk and talk about their memories and about their loved one and, and the things they did. And generally we'll play a video of their loved one, of, of family photos that the family gathered for us. and. Um, there are also other families that they want cremation, mm -hmm. and which is very good. And um, but they'll have gatherings, or you can still have a funeral service, but in lieu of ground burial, have cremation. 
And so there are so many different decisions to sit down with. When you sit down with a funeral director, um, our job is to ask those questions and to find out exactly what you want so that then we can put it down in writing and yes. in the form of a prearrangement. And, um, and so there are a, a lot of those different avenues as to your final arrangements. Mm -hmm. And another thing that we need to think about is, are you guys able to bury your, their loved ones in just about any cemetery? Or any cemetery. We go to, <clears throat> it's how a funeral works is a family makes all the decisions. We're here just to facilitate and help them. Um, they decide the funeral home they use, and they decide the cemetery they use. We bury in all cemeteries. So whether they're in town, mm -hmm. out of town, in another state, um, we bury in all cemeteries. Yes, lots of things to think about. Brad, remind us where you're located. If uh, the public has any questions, where can they get a hold of you guys? Um, you know, our original location is at uh, downtown, mm -hmm. Texture County, by the post office at 602 Olive Street. Then we have our newest location, which is about 11 years old, and it's at 2807 Moores Lane um, on the Texas side as well. Okay. Well, thank you, Brad, so much for having us Thank out. you. Thank you yes. so much for being here for now. Yeah, and we want to give everyone a peace of mind and uh, through these difficult times of the passing of a loved one or the pre-planning for yourself or for a loved one, it's definitely something that you need to think about. It is. Um, so we invite everyone to come see Brad Thomas right here at East Funeral Home in Texarkana.